You are aware that uh, for quite some time our, challenge, our orphanages have been facing uh, challenges because most of um, uh, the donors um, were uh, not licensed over a very long period since 1998. So many of our orphanages were facing uh, challenges of funding and there are very many orphans in those homes. So today we were lucky we were visited by Qatar Church, which has an office in Nairobi. And uh, we have an orphanage with over 300 uh, children, 379 children in uh, Masalani. So they have brought a donation of $200,000 for the upkeep of those children. What happens is, uh, apart from those children who are in orphanages, there are uh, a number of children who are maintained in their homes by being given some stipend by the charity. So the exercise you saw here this morning is uh, where children from the town here who are orphans but who stay in their homes are being given money transfer by this charity through M-Pesa to the head of the family. And we just witnessed a family who got more than uh, 250,000 shillings. Uh, one family, although they are a large family of more than almost close to 10 children, but they got a huge donation and uh, it has accumulated over time. So this is very welcome. We want to encourage many more charities, many more donors to come and support our orphanages. As a county, we are also considering um, investing in orphanages, um, upgrading some which are there. Two of them which exist today, we want to increase the population and the county government is going to cover their recurrent costs of uh, food, uh, accommodation, and uh, a certain aspect of uh, the teacher salaries. So we have a recurrent budget of 24 million this year um, to cover two orphanages which exist. We have also allocated 100 million shillings this year to build a new orphanage. Um, and the next year also we are going to, to build another one. You know that nomadic pastoralism as a way of life has disappeared. Our people have become very poor and uh, the children are stranded. So it's our policy to ensure that these people are accommodated somewhere, maintained, so that they can have access to both religious and secular education. And uh, um, at its peak, in the next four years, we expect to have up to 3,000 children in those orphanages and uh, who are uh, enjoying the services of uh, education and uh, upbringing.